when you looked at my face and shied away from my gaze, people were terrified in 2020 of my mask and two eyes. You used to regard me by my Asian persuasion. I remind us that we're all part of one nation. Woo! We're spreading animosities and the black eyed peas. Can I have some peace with my black eyes, please? Woo! Let's come together as a world. Let's inspire. Yes, still I rise. Shouts to Maya Angelou and Yuri Kochiyama. It's time for some introspection. Take a look at yourself for some personal reflection. Remember, the sun doesn't only shine in one direction. Instead of hate, we can unite in one direction. <laughs> Memorialize lives. Heroes, she rose, they rose, they rise, we rise. Still we rise to remember these lives. Yes, Park Suncha, Jin Suncha, Yu Young A Jim Hyun Chung Tan Xiao Jie Feng Daoyu Delena Ashley Yan Paul Andre Michaels We remember them alongside so many Asian American lives lost and we will honor them today in our community and our joy my name is Alice Toy. That's T S U I, pronounced Toy. And I am an actively anti racist and decolonizing public music educator in Brooklyn, New York. I am a lifelong New Yorker. and I am an ABC Asian born Chinese, American born Chinese daughter of two immigrants, two immigrants who are my elderly parents. I serve predominantly black, brown, Latinx elementary school students in Crown Heights because they matter. In February last year, when I was walking upstairs in school, a fifth grader stopped me and said, Miss Alice, someone said you had coronavirus. And I found out it was another one of my fifth grade students who I had taught for many years. This week, a fourth grader called me China to my face. But in those moments, I could feel my extreme rage, not at the children, but at the systems of our world that have led my students to say this. I am so mad at the toxicity of systemic racism that we breathe in, and specifically white supremacy for dividing my black children and I, an Asian American teacher in this world. A month ago, when I started to see the rise of anti-Asian violence yet again, but this time specifically against elderly people, I once again talked about this with my students. One of my fourth graders, a black boy, told me, it, Asian hate, won't be on the news until more people die. What does this say about what my black and brown students know about our society and have already internalized? I saw the same student this week who said, it's on the news now. But I reminded my students that it is important to question who is telling the story, how the story is told, and what isn't being said. Another fourth grader this week asked me if my parents are vaccinated, and I said, yes, they are, but I am so scared for them to go outside, so I tell them to stay home as much as possible for their safety just because they're Asian. These are a few of the many necessary conversations on race and racism that must occur in all schools. Elementary, middle, high school, college, and everywhere we are. My call to action to you, everyone here, is to find those emails
those, those contact informations of principals, teachers, and the educational institutions that are supposed to serve us, that either you yourself have gone to, are in your neighborhoods, or are in the neighborhoods around the children that you see getting hurt, and not just the Asian neighborhoods, in every neighborhood. And these are the demands that I have already written, and you can find them, and will be emailed to you afterwards. One. Acknowledge and teach Asian American history, lives, and arts, including and beyond Lunar New Year! Two, create spaces for API educators and children to feel, process, and heal without the burden of educating others on what racism is. Three, empowering classmates and colleagues of the API community to learn and speak against anti-Asian racism because I'm tired. <laughs> Our children are counting on you. Last year, one of my Asian American students said to me in Chinese, what Black Lives Matter means is that black lives are brightly illuminated. And I want her to know that her Asian American life is also brightly illuminated. <laughs> to the 13 year old Asian American boy attacked by a group of teens throwing basketballs at his head in Flushing, your life is also brightly illuminated. <laughs> To my Asian American community, I see you, I hear you, and we are here. To my fellow Asian American educators, take up space. True equity work does not exist in the black and white binary. And to all educators, we must work toward the collective liberation of all BBIA, black, brown, indigenous, and Asian peoples, and all racially minoritized people. Yeah. To my fellow Asian American women, AAPI women, I feel your pain, and my heart cannot stop feeling grief, and my racially occupied mind pounds with rage. I am here with you. I am worthy of safety, respect, and love. You are worthy of safety, respect, and love. Yeah. To the allies, accomplices, and co-conspirators, I see you as we stand in solidarity, and I hope you are doing as much and everything that you can, including the action item I named before, to support us beyond this moment. <laughs> to all Asian American children who are here today and watching wherever you are, I am here for you and you can feel whatever it is that you are feeling. Please cheer for the Asian American children who are here! <laughs> You matter. I want to tell you children that you matter. Your feelings matter. Your identity matters. Everything about who you are matters. You shine so bright with your golden light. Everyone say this with me for our children. I shine bright with my golden light. I shine bright with my golden light. I shine bright with my golden light. I Teach the Asian American children in your lives to say this for themselves. I didn't know what an affirmation was until I started teaching them to my public elementary school students because I was never taught them and I was never told to matter. I share these next affirmations with you for yourself for ourselves as a community who is healing and a community who can celebrate our API joy because our community is golden. I will say that and please repeat after me. I am worthy. I am worthy. My voice matters. My voice matters. I matter. I matter. For this next one, look 
at someone who you do not know in the eyes, truly look at them and tell them, you matter! You matter. We matter! We matter! As Jack said before, when I say we are golden, you say we are worthy. We are golden! We are golden! I want to end with this final note. My parents emigrated to the United States in the 1980s. They are in their 70s and 80s now, and after working so hard for their entire lives to support my brother and I, I cannot stay silent, and I must speak out to protect my family and all of our